Hi, I'm Joe with Gramophone, and we're here today in the Timonium Gramophone store, and we just watched a training of a product that had me all goosebump excited because it was so good. We're here today with Richard Latosky, the CEO and founder of Mad VR. Richard, hey, how are you? Hey, very nice to meet you. I'm doing well. Thank you so much good. for having me, Joe. Great to meet you as well. That was a wonderful training earlier that you did for us. It got us all fired up, and here we are now filming because we got so fired up. I think the thing that got me most excited was when you talked a little bit about how how many people have, you know, games they want to watch this weekend that aren't in 4K. They've got, you know, DVDs and, and all kinds of media content that's not, you know, shot in any kind of high resolution and how much better your product can make it look either on a projector and screen or just on a flat panel device. Yeah, or these large video walls are getting very popular as well. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about, um, at a high level, what the Man VR Envy is all about so the audience can, can understand its bourbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the, the Man VR Envy is a video processor. It goes in the chain in front of your display in the signal path. So if you have your AVR and that's currently feeding your, your projector, or your display. Instead, you send that feed into the Envy and you take an output from the Envy and you send that to your display. And Envy sits in the middle and does a several different functions. So why don't we talk, kind of go through like the core features behind the product. That would be awesome. In fact, in the training you did for us, you gave us a mnemonic so we could remember what was going on. Yeah. And yeah. I know it relates to music, which I love. So yeah, maybe you could tell us. So just remember kind of music HD as a mnemonic and we're going to have something for every letter in there. <clears throat> Pardon me. So M, M is for motion AI. Uh, the Mambier Envy Extreme is the first and only product that does AI-based motion interpolation, which is the world's first to be able to do this. And so motion interpolation is the art of adding frames where they don't exist to add clarity and remove that judder and blur that we see in movies while still being able to keep it cinematic. That's what's really special about it. How about the U in music? Yeah, so the U stands for upscaling. Right, so you mentioned this earlier in a conversation. You know, we're still watching a lot of content in 1080p. All of your uh, cable TV, satellite TV, all that stuff is prim primarily in 1080p, unfortunately, still. Maybe we get lucky, we see one or two ball games on a weekend at 4K, um, which really looks nice. But other than that, we're watching a lot of 1080p. There's a lot of movie lovers out there that still have their original collection of Blu-rays or they've moved it over to a lot to the Kaleidoscape, but still at 1080p. So the ability to upscale that to 4K or even 8K, which the MV Extreme can do, is really just takes that picture quality and clarity to another level beyond the upscaling that's built into displays. So the S is for subtitle management. Um, so for those of you that have a scope screen, meaning it's wider than 16 by 9, so like a 235 or 240 screen, you're probably familiar with this issue where you're when you're zoomed out and watching a scope movie to fill up that screen, the subtitles then appear below the masking or like closed captioning or other subtitles at the top appear um, on the ceiling or on the masking. So with these on the ceiling. Right, right. And, it's, and so what the MB does is it actually allows you to watch full screen instead of otherwise you have to watch like a postage stamp so that the subtitles can be read and they appear on the screen. What the MB does allows you to watch at that zoomed out view full screen like you would like to. And then when the subtitles come, we bring back the black bar just enough to fit the subtitles. So if you need one line of subtitles, or two lines or three lines, we bring that up, we hold it so it's not moving all over the place. And then after enough amount of time passes where no more subtitles are present, which is a setting that you can choose that duration, we bring it back to full screen. So you can enjoy scope movies with subtitles on a scope screen in all its glory. Cool, cool. And on to the next one, the I. I stands for incredible nonlinear stretch. So. Nonlinear stretch is that ability to get rid of those pesky black bars. A lot of people say, hey, you know, I bought this great screen. I absolutely love it. Why do I have these bars on it? Right. And so, in effect, that really creates this issue where 
people just, they don't want to see, they get used to the immersion and not all content is scope. There's uh, sports and still documentaries and plenty of movies also that is 16 by nine, TV shows, programs like that. And so being able to get rid of those black bars by stretching it out, the MV uses a patent pending process that is, is the first to ever do vertical compression and horizontal extension so that, you know, when people think about that kind of stretch, they picture people towards the end of the screen looking really wide and distorted. But the MV, we share that geometric load across both axes and that allows it to look nice and natural. So now, Richard, we're on to the C in music. Can you give us that component? Sure. C stands for calibration. Yep. So the Mavier Envy has an incredible capability to be able to control by a calibrator to be able to do the largest size calibrations. So in calibration terms, we're talking about what's called 1D LUT and 3D LUT. Basically, geek speak for being able to calibrate the gamma and grayscale on the 1D LUT, and then the gamut, the color volume, which would be hue, saturation, and also luminance on the in, inside the gamut. And so the MV is the only video processor that can do both 4,096 point 1D LUTs. That's 4,096 points of control, whereas normally that you might only get 17 or 21 points of control, and also 16.7 million points of calibration control in the gamut. So the end result, and, and that would be opposed to about four or 5,000 points with other video processing algorithms and things that can be done. So with the Envy, you have the ability to really, calibrator can get in and it controls the whole calibration process and really get that picture perfect commercial cinematic look in your home. You know, Richard, you've talked about how Mad VR Envy really is a product of your passion for wanting to have great music and movie experiences that you can watch and hear the way the manufacturer of that flat panel or projector and screen want, and the director of the movie, for that matter, wanted you to, to experience it. We would love to see you come out to Gramophone and have your own experience of what Mad VR Envy can do, because this beautiful theater that we're in here at Timonium, we've got a similar one in Columbia and again down in Gaithersburg where we actually have a JBL Synthesis Theater. So we look forward to seeing you soon at Gramophone so we can show you what Mad VR Envy is really all about. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for all of our upcoming highlights. You can learn more about these great products at Gramophone.com and shop Sky by Gramophone for a secure checkout fast and free shipping straight to your door. Visit our showrooms at Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland, and our amazing experience center in Timonium. Please visit our kitchen and design center in Hunt Valley, too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.